So hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video we are going to explore an incredible tool called Evil Limiter. Evil Limiter is a network bandwidth limitation and control tool that allows you to manage network traffic effectively. Um, if you want to prioritize certain devices or restrict bandwidth for other users, um, uh, Evil Limiter is there for you, you know? Okay, so to install this, so let's just open up our browser here. Okay, now let's search um, Evil Limiter GitHub. And this is actually, and what you need to do, just copy the link and um, open up your terminal and just clone it wherever you want to. And just paste the link here and it should be cloned to your system for me um in black arts linux i already have it so it's pre-installed so i don't need to so all i need to do is just type in evil limiter okay okay whatever let me just show you the installation actually you know so let's just say i want to clone it to my op directory i want to say git clone and then i'll paste the link here hit enter just go into the folder um evil limiter of course and then type in ls to see the content and all you need to do is just type in python of course three and then set up the py and then you want to type in install right and once that done it's going to install all of the you know required dependencies or packages you know so just wait for that once it's done you can just type in evil limiter to just um, run the tool. So this is how you install it. Okay. Pardon me. Okay. Okay. So to use this tool, you can, you know, pretty much type in help or question mark. And this will show you the menu of how to use it. So first, we have scan. This will actually scan for online host on your network. So it's going to scan for specific range and find all those online de uh, hosting devices for you. You can also um, specify a range, you know, if you want to. And next we have hosts. Once you're done with your scan, you can type, a, type the command host and it will show you all the hosts that are available. And then you have this limit command where you can, you know, limit the bandwidth for users, um, for the host, you know. And actually you can block them, you can unblock them, you can aid a, um, a device yourself, you know, if you think it's missing. And you can analyze it, like how much bandwidth um, certain devices are using, blah, 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 stuff like that. Okay, so now let's just use it. So first, let's just scan the network first. Um, don't worry about those warnings. Uh, in your case, I don't think you will see any of that. So, don't worry about it. Let me just move this up a little bit. Sorry. So, as you can see, it has discovered four hosts. Now, let's type hosts to see. And there we go. We have these hosts right there. As you can see, I have this IP right here of my another, um, virtual machine which is fedora of course and i'll be testing um these things on my fedora okay so now let's say i want to see how much bandwidth is this device this fedora using so um all i need to do is just let me just log in here first okay so here i am on my fedora with glitchy browser now let's just go back to black arch so now let's analyze the fedora so just say analyze two and then for the duration i would set it to like maybe 30 seconds and i'm just going to run it and i'm going to go back to my fedora now okay okay so now let's search something like you know test um hp that and let's just open this up to see i'm going to search something i don't know whatever oh now let's go back i think 
Okay. Now, as you can see, we have analyzed the traffic and uh, the upload for this specific device, this host that is Fedora, is 100 KB. You know, and then for the download, it is, you know, like 8, 9, 4 KB kilobytes, right? And that's like almost 1 megabyte. So, if you think this machine is using, you know, like a lot of bandwidth, uh, which it is not, you know, this is nothing, I would say. I mean, it is, but, you know. So, if you think like this machine is using, you know, a lot of bandwidth, or let's just consider a scenario, um, you are in the company and there are employees and, you know, they're working and, and you see there's traffic coming from YouTube or, I mean, whatever, they're just watching movies or whatever, stuff like that. And, um, they're not working. So what you can do, you can just block them or you can just limit their speed to like maybe 100 kilobits or 50, 500, whatever you want. And that should be enough to force them to quit everything and get back to work. So yeah, let's just go ahead and limit this device. All I can do is just type in help. Of course, to limit it, um, you will use the limit command, of course, and then the host, let's just say, I have this host number two, so I'll just say limit two, um, uh, I would say kilobits, right? Let's just go ahead and set it to uh, 50 kilobit. And if I just hit enter, now this host is limited to only 50 kilobit, and this is absolutely enough to force them to stop everything and get back to work. Okay, so if I just type in host again, I will, I will see that the status has changed from free to limited because I have limited this specific host to certain bandwidth, right? Okay, next thing I want to show you is how you can actually block them. You know, so even if I type in help, um, there is something we call block. You can block certain um, device or user, you know. So just say block, which in our case is the user 2, which is Fedora, and it has been, and it's been blocked right now. Let's just see if it is really okay. Get back to Fedora. Let's just refresh. Okay. Um... I think, and I think it's been blocked successfully, as you can see, it's just, you know, not um, returning any result back. So now, if you want to actually, um, you know, this user is now being blocked, if you want to free this user. So all you need to do is just free, you can type in all to free all, or just, you know, free user two, of course. So hosts, of course, and it's now free. If you want to block all, block all, of course, it's going to block all of them. And as you can see, all of them are blocked and free all.